Hello everybody, Nero and Mialucard back again for yet another YouTube video, and I have a question. We've seen a lot of games come out, have sequels, be successful series. We've seen series that have jumped the shark, series that never got the love they deserved, and we've seen series that have fallen into that nice niche in between where you have a decent sized fan base, but nothing really mind blowing, but enough to keep the developers working hard and their families fed. But of all the series that have come and gone in video games, I have one question. Why did Tenchu Stealth Assassins die when it did? The Tenchu series was popular enough to survive three console generations, but after the third generation it never really... <sighs> well, just kind of went away uneventfully. Now, I don't know if it was a rights problem, a licensing problem, or just plain bad luck, but I would love to see Tenchu Stealth Assassins come back again. Mostly because Tenchu was freaking great. For those of you that are too young to remember what Tenchu was, it was essentially Sekiro Shadows Die Twice before Sekiro Shadows Die Twice without, this, without the Souls-like combat system and an emphasis on stealth and, well, assassination. You played as a ninja in feudal, feudal Japan, you assassinated people. That was all you needed. The first one is filled with all of that early 3D game design jank, and to be fair, like Silent Hill, they made the most of it. For example, the fact that the game takes place at night gives them a lot of reason to, you know, limit the draw distance for the sake of the, for the sake of the poor PlayStation One's hardware. Ah, the PlayStation One. One of these days, I'll do a console review on it. Anyway, that was it. It made the original game was a, actually quite the hit and was published by the evil at company that is Activision. The second game, Tenchu, the second game Tenchu Two, was also on the PlayStation One. Tenchu Wrath of Heaven was on the PS2, Xbox, GameCube era. And then finally, Tenchu Z made it to the Xbox 360 era. And as far as I know, that's the last game in the series. And yeah, Tenchu should totally make a comeback. The success of Sekiro more than proved that games set in feudal Japan starring ninjas can work now. So why not? Especially with all the advancements in technology that have been made since the original game. It's a perfect for a reboot. I don't know where the licensing is on this. I don't know who owns the rights to the game anymore. Heck, I don't even know who de developed the originals, but come on, guys. You're sleeping on money here. Now, if there's one thing games ha gamers hate, it's when a company or companies refuse to acknowledge the money. And yes, I understand that remaking a game comes with a lot of financial risk. You have to make it accessible to the original, to, to not only fans, of, newer fans, but fans of the original, and blah, 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 blah. But come on. Crash Bandicoot more than proved that people still love that little guy after all these years. Same thing with Spyro. How have you not done Tenchu? Heck, a bunch of other properties from the PlayStation 1 era could make a comeback like Tomba, Croc. Like I said, Croc proved... Like I said, Crash proved that people will still play a platforming game, so why not remake Croc, refine what worked with it, but... I'm getting off track here. Anyway, comment below a series you think should be remade or brought back to life after all of these years. And with all that being said, I am Nero on the Alucard. I do hope you enjoyed my video. Like, share, subscribe if you want more. Hey, I'm getting back into the swing of this now, aren't I? And I will catch you around next time. I must go. My planet needs me. Peace.